Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today we are building a super fast elevator, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here is our elevator. I'm just gonna show you guys how it works. You basically walk over here, step in the middle, hit that button, and boom! There we go, we are now at the top. We can make this elevator as tall as we want, and it's super easy, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I want you guys to answer a question down below in the comments section if you guys had an elevator or if you're building an elevator where would you want it to lead it could be anything it just surprised me I don't know I just want to hear you guys' response it might be funny all right so let's go ahead and uh, yeah build this thing so it's pretty easy like I mentioned what we need to do is grab ourselves a regular piston and then destroy a block right over here place it facing up and then place down a another regular piston facing up over there place on a block over here a piston or actually a piston on top of the block a block on top of the piston a block on top of that piston, a piston over here, piston over there, a block and a block, a piston and a piston, and basically go up until you have six of these. So as you can see, I basically have six, one, two, three, four, five, six pistons, and now we could get started with adding in the other areas to this structure. All right, so what we need to do now is grab ourselves another block of our choice, build four blocks out like this, one, two, three, four, and then five blocks out, so one, two, three, four, five, and then two blocks over here, so basically do this for every level that's underneath our uh, pistons, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So it's basically like a gigantic L shape. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, and then this is going to be the final one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, and you would basically do this however many times that you want, and you can just copy it until you get to your ideal height for an elevator. Alright, so let's go ahead and now add in the other blocks that we need. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is grab yourselves some sticky pistons and place it at the back facing your regular piston. So just like this on all the, all of the sides. And you would basically just do it over there, right over here, there, and yet again on the back of all of our pistons. So right over there. Make sure you don't miss any of them because you will need that in order for it to work. Alright, so now let's go ahead and grab ourselves another block of our choice. Place a pillar of blocks on the left hand side just like this, one block to the left of our piston in the ground, then count two blocks over and then start building up a pillar right over here. Yet again, to the top of wherever your height is for your elevator, then grab yourselves another block of your choice and cover up our sticky pistons just like that. So for me, it is three blocks on this side and then I come around this side and then place down three blocks over here as well. Alright, so once you have that, you want to go ahead and grab yourselves some redstone repeaters, place two of them over here on the back of these blocks, as well as the back of those uh, sticky pistons, so just do it like that, there we go and one or two more at the top over there, then we want to place down a redstone repeater coming from this block, going to that block on all of these sides, so let's just go ahead and do that, as you guys can see, that is basically how it would look, place one over here, there and there, and now what we need to do is come back over here and set this redstone repeater that's at the back of our uh, sticky piston to four ticks. So you want to make sure that all of these are set to four ticks, and you want to make sure that you don't accidentally click on any one of these because these need to be on the original delay. Alright, so let's just go ahead and set all of these to four, and then we can get started with adding in some other stuff. Alright, so here we go, we have one more after this. Boom, that easy. Now what we need to do is grab ourselves some redstone dust, place on three over here, three over there, three over there, basically at the back of our, um, you know, at the back of our redstone repeaters, just like that. There we go, and that is pretty much it. So now let's move on to the next step. Uh, what we need to do over here is basically dig out one, two, three, four, five blocks, and uh, just replace this back in the ground, there we go. And once you have that five blocks on this side, you want to go ahead and dig out two blocks at the bottom there. And you want to come up, come around this side, dig out two blocks over there as well. So basically, I'm just going to destroy this to show you guys where these blocks are. 
Uh, basically, you want to destroy two blocks on this side. That way, the block over here is going to be the one with the redstone dust on top. Place down a redstone repeater going into that block, and then a redstone repeater going into this block. Set this one to two ticks by right-clicking on it once. Replace these blocks if you broke it, and then place back your redstone dust right over there. You can replace these blocks in the ground as well. And then basically um, place down redstone dust all along these blocks in the ground. So let's just go ahead and just do that. There we go. You want to destroy this block right over here and place some redstone dust going into that bottom piston that's in the ground. And then you want to place down a bit of redstone dust there with a block on top and then place a um, button or a lever. And then we can get started with adding in the other stuff into the map. All right, so here we go. There is a lever. You want to activate that while we work on the structure. And now we could focus on building up and connecting all of the redstone. All right, so what we have to do is build up some pillars at the back. And to do this, we want to go ahead and build up one block over here, two blocks there, two blocks there. And as you guys can see, we are basically stopping our final block on these two block pillars at this position. So basically the top section is going to be in the space that's in between these uh, platforms. So if, if you guys could see this, basically the top block on this side is between these two platforms. The block over here at the top is between these two platforms. And you wanna make sure you have that and that's how you would continue to build it as you progress higher and higher. Now over here, you want to go ahead and build up two blocks over there two blocks over here, and then if you wanted to have another layer, you would build up two more blocks, but this is the top, so we don't really need that. So that is uh, pretty much how you would do it. Now let's go ahead and add in the redstone. Over here, you want to add a repeater going into this block, set that to one tick. Do the same thing on this side. Basically, any redstone from this side is going to go into a repeater and then into that block, set that to one tick. And then over here as well, so let's just go ahead and place down a redstone repeater going into that block, set that to one tick. Do this over here as well on the second layer of this side, one tick. Then do it over here at the bottom and then set that to one tick yet again. And now what we need to do is place on a bit of redstone dust here. It should be activated because that redstone repeater underneath is activating it. Now we need to go ahead and connect our redstone from the back onto this area. So let's just go ahead and do that. We need to connect this redstone onto this block. So let's just go ahead and do that. As you can see, it will turn on. And then you want to connect this bit of redstone dust to the top of this block as well. And as you guys can see now, this entire side is activated and we would basically do this on this side as well well as you can see that is pretty much how it would work and then if you have another layer on top you would do the same and connect it as well all right so now let's go ahead and test out the system we would basically come back around here uh, deactivate it and then destroy that lever place down a button grab ourselves some glass you will need glass because you need to place down a barrier so you won't get pushed off so what I do is I build up two glass over here and then I build out the system just like that so we have a small area to walk in and then this glass is going to protect us from falling off all right so now we step in the middle hit that button and we should go all the way to the top so take a look at that guys that is super simple to build and hopefully you got the whole idea down you can always replace the video if you didn't but anyways guys that's basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please take one second to smack the like button let's aim for 1000 likes on this video as well as don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome redstone tutorials redstone maps and other gameplay on my channel this was twist and i'll see you later